Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis for big mega cap stocks. So show your support by hitting that thumbs up button and that is greatly appreciated and if you are new here consider subscribing and that means a lot to me. And if you want to get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas and 3 days of live trading in my discord, check out the Patreon and that link will be down below in the description. And now let's get right into it guys. On Apple stock is down almost 2% and if you look at my screen, it's barely holding 20 day moving average right here, 188. So Apple 188 will be a key level to watch right here on Apple. But below 188 you're going to see a drop down to 185 and then this gap and that is also a big support right here 183 we also have earnings coming out from apple and i think that is on thursday to the upside now apple needs to break 190 and then watch out for 50 day moving average 191 we also have resistance at 192 so upside here on apple now looks like it's limited because we need some good catalyst, some good earnings from Apple. Otherwise, you're going to see Apple coming down and filling this gap down here slightly under 183. So be careful playing Apple right now, especially with earnings. And I'm not even touching, you know, anything that is uh, releasing earnings this week. I'm not playing those because all the options are jacked up. Uh, they really want big money for like, you know, short term options. If you're going only Friday expiration, some cases like on Meta, they want 1100, 1200 for a call or a put. It's just insane, guys. So stay away right now. You know, let them release earnings and then we can play all these mega caps again. On Microsoft, it's down 0.28% and now with earnings down half a percent. So nobody knows, especially with earnings, where things will open tomorrow. And I can give you guys some levels to watch. So far, it's holding and respecting 406 right here, five day moving average as a support right after the bell right here. You can see it's holding, but below 406, we could see a drop all the way down to right here, this gap just slightly under 400 and that should be a strong support we see continuation tomorrow to the upside then watch out for the resistance at 410 and then this thing can explode all the way up to 417. on amd it's down 3.24 percent and now it's down six percent with earnings now i'm not going to go through the earnings it's out and you guys can see it but going into tomorrow's session look at this guys now this is gonna be key level and so far you can see it's trading around 164 to 162. tomorrow right at opening if this thing can hold 164 that's gonna be the level to watch for a bounce but if this thing cannot hold 164 previous all-time highs then watch out for a drop down to 158 20 day moving average and then 155 all the way down to this gap 148 to the upside amd can hold right here tomorrow 164 then watch out for a move back up to 13 day moving average 167 and possibly up to 172 to 174 and then 177 five day moving average so amd google and also microsoft nobody knows where things will open tomorrow and a lot of the times what we see here in this market especially recently Right now it's down about 10 bucks, right? By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, this dip might be gone. So that is something to watch. So these levels definitely can work tomorrow, but it depends on you know where AMD actually opens tomorrow morning, guys. On Google stock is down 1.16% and now after the bell with earnings down over 5%. So Google here, let me give you guys an example bad earnings good earnings does not matter last time it was actually a decent earnings and we saw a drop right here it was a 20 dollar drop from 140 down to 121 almost and then what happened a b shape this thing exploded gapped up right here ran up to 140 closed the gap came back and now you can see just going straight up yes we got some dips you know on the way but this thing went straight up from here uh, 136 got up to 155 and now pulling back so tomorrow this thing will open right here at this gap looks like 145 and this is also a strong support 20 day moving average but if that gives up tomorrow this thing can drop down to 140 ish right here 
50 day moving average so watch out here on google now google opens right here at 145 then watch out if the support actually holds we could see a bounce back up to the upside and that would be a bounce back up to 148 possibly up to even 150 tomorrow on meta it's down 0.24 percent and now it's down 1.79 percent trading at 392 and if you look at my screen right here we do have strong support at 396 and now it's trading below 396 so going into tomorrow's session meta will open below five day moving average right here 396 and below that watch out for the strong support down here and that is around 390 and below that meta can drop down to 384 and then this gap slightly under 377 now that is a big gap down on meta if this thing actually can hold right here at 390 tomorrow yes we could see you know meta going back up to at least i would say 396 to 400 and that would be something i'm looking to play on meta but unfortunately i mean i don't know how the options are gonna be tomorrow morning this thing especially options are jacked up for this week it's so expensive you cannot buy anything hopefully you know if it's cheap maybe i'll get some calls right here as long as this thing can hold 390 if not you know not buying right here maybe we'll try right down here at 384 as long as options are cheap but if they're expensive like you know seven eight hundred for uh 400 calls tomorrow definitely it's not worth playing guys on amazon stock is down 1.40 percent and now it's down 1.43 percent right after the bell so things will open here on amazon tomorrow in between 156 and 155 and that is gonna be a strong level and why if you look at my screen 13 day moving average right here sitting at 156 this orange line and then 155 also was that breakout here on amazon and now looks like it's coming back to retest this breakout before earnings on thursday so 155 to 156 that's gonna be your line in the sand on amazon and below that watch out for this to put down here 20 day moving average white line 153 and then 150 now amazon i think it can hold right here 155 but because how options are jacked up i mean it's insanely jacked up right now so you would be lucky to buy this dip at 155 and play to the upside we could see a bounce at least up to i would say 157 to 58 and who knows maybe even 160 and that would be a really nice day trade but you know because of how options are jacked up it's going to be really hard to play amazon tomorrow so watch out 156 155 153 150 all these are strong support levels right here on amazon and to the upside if this thing opens at 156 155 watch out for the resistance at 158.80 and then 160 on netflix is down 2.25 percent and you can see it's barely holding five day moving average right here 563 and now trading under this support 564 so going into tomorrow's session this is going to be a key level to watch in between 563 and 564 this thing cannot hold then we could see a drop possibly down to 540 to even 528 to the upside as long as netflix can hang around right here in between 563 and 564 maybe some consolidation next few days look at this bollinger band expanded up to 576 five day moving average now catching up so that is good right here on netflix but it needs to stay above 563 to 564 and then you could see a move all the way back up to not only 580 up to even 588 on nvidia stock it's up half a percent so another green day another fresh new all-time high and then we saw a bit of a pullback but again just like every other day this thing finishing in the green now it's down right after the bell 1.74 percent so going into tomorrow's session this is gonna be the level you want to watch right here on nvidia five day moving average 618.50 now it's trading at 617 now this support gives up 618 right here 55 day moving average you're going to see immediate drop all the way down to i would say right here 608 and then watch out for this gap down here 
just under 600. We also have strong support down here at 590 and then weekly expected move all the way down here at 580. On Tesla stock is up 0.35% and this thing I was going to play today got up to 196 and I was going to short at 196 to 197. Unfortunately, I was looking at SMCI. I actually played that one, made a little bit of money and then missed out on this one shorting right here. I was going to get 190 puts and look at this drop right here. Now it's down to 186. So going into tomorrow's session, it was holding five day moving average. Just like I said before, into closing, it was good. But with some earnings right now, this thing can drop even more down to 180 tomorrow again. Now to the upside, if the dip actually gets bought up tomorrow, then watch out if this thing can hold just like it did today into closing 191. That would be a key level to watch. And also, if this thing opens below 191, that's going to be a resistant to watch. To the upside, the next resistant right here, 194 to 195. And you can see clearly got up to 196 and then chopped off, went right back down to 191. Above 194, you're going to see a move up to 200 and then 206.77 on Tesla. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll definitely keep you guys updated going into tomorrow.